All right, you guys probably remember the 85 inch wide Turbo S. Yeah. If not, here it is right here. We are sitting on literally the widest stanced razor I've ever seen. It measures 85 and a half inches. <laughs> okay, so we've seen that. It was cool. Well, the reason it was so wide is because these are giant backspace wheels meant for a 64 inch machine put on a 72 inch. Yeah, right. So I don't even remember, but these, I mean, so these are 10 inch wide wheels. And I don't even know if they're five plus fives. They might be like a four plus six. <laughs> yeah, they're it's huge. Craziness, anyways. Very wide. Cool if you have a 64, not as cool if you have a machine that measures to be 75 it's too already. too much, like it was rubbing both jacks on the back of our trailer every time we loaded it. So not an ideal situation. And the colors on uh, the old Battlefield Razor have changed and right. it just needs a different set of wheels to really work. So we have a different set of wheels here. Yeah, Open it for the people. Oh no. That's the it's closed the, one. This is not the one I pre-opened. <laughs> Admittedly, um, I looked at uh, I looked at these. Crap. I mean, we ordered them, so we know what they look like. Right. Here we go. Okay, that's not the wheel. Not yet. <laughs> They're in a little. Hey oh. Not yet. Hey yo. <laughs> okay, the hairnet. You got to put the hairnet on for the people. <laughs> All right, one more piece. You ready for it? Yes. Boop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> There All right, here they are. Boom! Oh, yes. Wow, those are gonna match so nicely. So basically, oh, I'm yeah. sway in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the old Turbo S is blue now with a silver cage and some silver highlights, you know, and the decals. So I felt and a little like bit I of black needed, too. And yeah, it's got some black in it, so I felt like I needed, you know, silver and black wheels. So here we are. That's what we got. Going over to Camp Razor, got to do it in uh, style. So I know how you know you guys are over there. All your stuff's just way nicer. Than Peak performance. What we have over here. So trying to fit in. And these are a 15 by 7, 5 plus 2, which means that we're going to remove six inches of width yep. out of that giant razor. We're going to be adding one inch over stock, but it should be okay. It'll be yeah, a lot more, a lot more reasonable. I think it'll perform better. I think it'll look a little more normal. Mm -hmm. So just got to mount them up, man. Piece of cake. Pop the tires off these wheels. Pop them onto these wheels. We got bead locks now too, so that's neat. Yeah, that's a good thing. And so yep. this is somewhat of a glamorous prep video. So we're gonna be covering a couple things in this video, which I've just decided to do. Okay, yeah, I didn't know what this video was gonna be, so. So glamorous prep. We'll start here. New wheels for Battlefield. Yep. Old wheels gone. And over here we got some more stuff. Let's take a look real quick. So, got from a friend. Pair of rigid pods. Boom. There they are. Got from another friend a pair of China pods. Boom. What does that mean? That means we got four pods. Four pods. Rigid pods, China pods. You average those out. You got some. Red, red, I can't even combine Rhina? the words. Rhina pods. Chigid. <laughs> <laughs> so. China chigid. Beast molds get some real headlight issues <laughs> from certain <laughs> certain rides, certain events. One's basically just full of mud 100% of the time. You really can't see anything. We're going to the Camp Razor. We're going to spend some time in a booth there. So we're probably going to be doing some night riding. So right. it needs headlights that actually function. That's a good point. So instead of just putting another stock set of headlights in it, because that's lame, we're going to combine our rigid pods and our china pods into something that looks like headlights. Right, so we're going to have uh, a rigid on the outside, a china on the inside. And I might do the china on the inside as the high beam, and the rigid as the low beam. Because I want more power all the time. Yep. And a little more power when I need it. More power. So having said that, Glamis prep, it's less than a week away. We're incredibly stressed. We have a ton of stuff to do, but we've poised ourselves today to fix a couple things that needed to be done and then uh, move on with life. Baby steps, man. We're still coming off of, I guess you'd call it like a mental hangover from the weekend because we just had our October yes. event, which was just, Mentally exhausting, so we're just slowly working back into it here. Basically dead inside. Yep. Alive on the outside. Yep. The still last pushing. Two days have been like an out of body experience. <laughs> I feel like I'm just riding around with my body as it's doing things, but I'm not really there. Yep. So we'll see if we can manage to change type. <clears throat> but. And uh, for anybody else counting out there, we still need a wedge and we still need a truck. 
Uh, and we're five days away from yeah, leaving. Like four or five days. No big deal. <laughs> and I'm shaking my head. You can't see it. I'll shake the camera as if it's my head. <laughs> All right. Well, let's not worry about that. Let's get something simple done. Boom. Well, Dougie, rims off. Look off. at how wide those are, by the way. <laughs> Tires off the rims. And just as a testament and not a review of these 32-inch Pro Armors that no one else has, they are so light. Like, look at this. Like they are light and thin, just totally crazy. Yeah, for a molded 32 inch tire, insanely light. Yeah, and the uh, rear is the same way. Just like totally flexes right around you. I mean, it's not scat track thin, but boy, for a molded tire, it's pretty darn good. Yeah. So when these become available, I'm gonna buy a set for beast mode for show. Heck yeah, man, they work super well. So new 30, so. Or sorry. 15 inch. 32 inch wheels. 32 inch rams. <laughs> nah, that would weigh a lot. Uh, I'm excited about these. I think they're going to look good, man. Yeah, they're going to look really good. So classic, mounting them up. No big deal. You've seen this before. Slide the tire on. Maybe Doug can show you how to do one. Yeah. And with a beadlock, it's ultimately easy compared to a non-beadlock. So you only have to get the tire down here, and then it pinches on this side with the bead locker. Totally easy, totally nice. We're gonna dub you up the rim just for some extra lube. Oh my God, Papa <laughs> Field was right. Uh, he's and not wrong. Look what he bought. Show him, Will. Show him, baby. Oh, we're not looking for valve stems anymore. <laughs> we were so used to just feeding AutoZone's margins. <laughs> And just buying $17. Right? He said he watches us mount tires out here all the time, and he finally went, you guys are a bunch of idiots. Why don't you just buy a bunch of valve stems to have right. around? <laughs> and booyah, they're there. Uh, heck yeah, dude. Good Let's work. These in. How do they look, by the way? Good, man. Short little valve stem. Rubber. Thread. Metal. Plastic. Valve? Yeah. Show the fans what you're doing. What kind of tool you got here? It's a, it's a valve stem tool, man. So you put it in, and if you jank up on it, which yep. is a yank jerk. These are really easy, so you can just pull on them. But if you've got ones that aren't easy, you can actually lock this in and you know use it to pry. We don't need to do that, so we're going to keep the wheel nice. I already scratched it, probably. No, good thing it's a be locked Turn it on there. So yeah, man, that's that. And then we're going to just put a little lube on the tire. we have got to make sure, so this is going to be the outside. Yep. Because of the way the ribs are, so... This is gonna go down first. Oh, yeah, baby. You really don't even need it. It's sort of a one-man job. It's way down in there, isn't it? Yeah. Boom. Get her, Dougie. Center that up. I don't want to... And then we'll get our beadlock ring out, put the bolts in, torque them down. That's what I was kind of and there she goes. Oh, doggy. They are on and they look great. So, yep. Doug, you got a little torque wrench here. We've gone over this a lot, but if people who haven't seen some of our new subscribers, tell them what's going on here. You know, we're just torquing the old bead lock ring down. This is not something we do all the time, but this is a nice set of wheels and a nice set of tires. And it's not a set of tires or wheels that I plan on changing right away. So, we're going to do a nice job, torque them appropriately. So, you're going three steps or two steps? You no, know, I'm just going two steps because I want to do a good job, but I also don't want to take all night. That's a good point. We've so, done this with double bead locks before on multiple sets of wheels, and you'll have hours in the torque in them. It's a long time, man. So I just did, you know, I ran them in loosely with the gun. Took them to like uh, eight foot pounds. Doing 12 right now. Couldn't tell you what the spec is for pro armor wheels. I mean, we've done a lot of these, and 12 is pretty universal, so. Pretty good number. They're pretty good sized bolts, so. And we have like a uh, low torque torque wrench here. I think it goes to what, 50? Yeah. So. Oh no, this, yeah, it doesn't even go that high. This only go to uh, a little over 20. Oh shoot, okay, so she's a low torque unit. So that's pretty much it, man. And then we'll air it up from here. Wipe and, it off first. Oh. So it, looks, so it looks pretty. Nice and presentable for the dunes. Yeah. Look. Dang it! Good timing for the air compressor to turn on. <laughs> Screw it. Look uh, at these bad boys. They are on. Doug totally didn't ding. Which one was it? Oh yeah, he totally didn't ding that one right there or it's anything. Point in that what a good friend. <laughs> I gotta have something because I'm gonna have crappy wheels for Glamis and you're gonna have 
Brand new wheels, so suck it. It's a real ginger dude. Anyway, they look great, done a good job. Paddles on a seven inch wide wheel, I prefer the look of them. They're not as giant. And uh, yeah, so what are you looking for? This, this is a new box down here. It's in there somewhere, dude. So wow, what do you think about them? I like them, man. They're gonna fit the machine well. Clean them up a little bit, adjust the pressures in them, but for tonight, good enough. Moving on. One small step closer in, ready for Glamis. One small step for Glamis, one giant leak for Project Battlefield. Right. At least we're directionally correct tonight. <laughs> yeah. so. There's been times that we've mounted tires incorrectly. And uh, that's a real pain. But these are done. Let's pull beast mode in here. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do it. Okay, this headlight, beautiful. This headlight, it's your grandma's cloudy eye because she has glaucoma. Just let them see it. So at some point in time, the housing broke on this. Yep. And uh, yeah, she's just not doing good. This is just all in bad, bad. Down here. And a lot of you people that talk about, you know, how lucky I am to have this thing. Listen, she's seen some stuff. Namely, check this out. Watch this, ready? They're not wrong, but... See the movement here? <laughs> I just did this, and I was totally shocked. Now watch this. Totally stiff. Mine, loose as a goose. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This front end's been taken apart, put together shoddy, taken apart, put together shoddy, taken apart, put together shoddy, and then taken apart and put together even worse. Yep. She's kind of cobbled together right now. We're uncobbling it. Decobbling. Trying to get back to just a, you know, a nice... Standard cobble. Common base to work from. And look, that's better already. Yeah, even there you've improved this thing. <laughs> I'm curious oh. on the, why the spacing here is so bad, and over here it's tight, but... And then also too, like even, that's just. So what are you thinking, Doug? Just get this one out and then have a little look-see at it. I think just it's look be, at it. Yeah, fairly simple, man. We're just gonna take the lights, we're gonna set them in there, and then we're just gonna imagine the bracket and then execute the bracket. Execute the bracket, we got some stuff down here. Might use aluminum, might use steel. Actually, look at that. You we'll see, see that plate down there? We'll see. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Several plate options. We'll see once we get in there. You know, depending on how the bracket needs to look. Right. If it needs welds, maybe we'll go full steel for simplicity and ease. Yeah, boy. I'm looking at it trying to think where to even mount it off of. Nothing is coming to mind as being simple and easy. I mean, uh, yeah, we'll probably have to utilize, like, kind of couple of stock mounting points at least. Yeah. What are you saying? What was that? Under your breath? Wow, this thing's <laughs> a piece of crap. Seen some stuff, bud. I mean, I don't treat it nice. It's at 1,500 miles. Uh, yeah, I wish there was uh, some more steel or aluminum uh, frame out here. Yeah, there is nothing. Mm -hmm. But it's basically just plastic bolted to plastic. I was looking. So, yeah, just plastic on plastic on... Maybe we hook it up to the radiator. How about that? Maybe weld it just, to the radiator. Uh, just leave them out. Looks kind of cool. Let's see it. We can like take this off or maybe cut it. And just use these as the headlights? That'll be enough for Glamis. No. Maybe if we put a, like three light bars on it. Uh, Triple stack. Triple stack light bars. What if we just got uh, like two or three more of these and just stacked them out to the side? We could put light... Oh, dude. Hammerhead shark theme. Hammerhead shark theme. Two 42 inch light bars on each side, sticking out to about here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this makes me think of Baby Shark, which is now in my head now for the rest of the night. Hammerhead shark, doo 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 doo. Hammerhead shark, doo doo. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna grab these and just see what they look like. Anyway. Just put them in there, see what they look like. It's gonna be cool. My body's ready. I'm not even embarrassed about running the China ones either, because you got a decent one. Wow! So maybe tuck this one in there. Yeah, Something hide like it, that. and then the ridge on the outside. Something like that. Wow, that's gonna be It'll sweet. Look cool. Looks cool from here, man. Looks cool from here too. Looks really cool from the front. Yeah, kind of offset, maybe just like that. Yeah, and we get one piece of angled steel or something up here. Yep. A couple Perfect. bends in it. 
perfect. It's, boy, it's interesting, yeah, because this has got some mass to it. And it's going to be sort of cantilevered out there. What if we mount it to your shock? Just come Sounds up with a bracket, like a horrible plan. Come back here with a nice little clamp right on the coil spring. <laughs> that light will follow your suspension. That might be good. Another question is, do we have a small enough light bar we can mount here? Do we have a small one in that Gosh. box of light bars? I don't know if we have any tiny ones. Hmm. Hold me closer. I saw a little, saw a little light bar. setup that was pretty cool. That went right there. Okay, yep. Don't got money for that. But can't afford those. So. Alright, let's just cut to us putting it in. Alright. Alright, so plans change. Turned out two sets of pods require a little more amperage than our stock plugs uh, really have to provide. Right, and I had this idea of grandeur that we'd be able to run two pods, and after we looked at the light and looked at the circuit, we realized that it's only good for about 25 watts, and uh, the rigid pod in itself is 42. Um, so now we're heating up the housing of the stock unit here, uh, melting the plastic all the sh** hmm, to hmm. then weaken the glue so we can pop this off because this lens is glued on and uh, use it as normal. Yep. Clean Just, it, uh, glue it. Don't have time to be wiring new circuits into this thing. It's crunch yeah, time. I, so. I, it's pretty, pretty hot. <laughs> look, at, look at the, the <laughs> bubbles. Uh, yep. Oh yeah, she's getting warm. Turns this out this is heat gun, uh, hot. This is a thing though. Guys do this all the time for headlight mods, right? A lot of times they'll put them like in an oven to get the glue to melt. It's a little less aggressive, but we don't have time. For again, that. time. No. So you should maybe get a little screwdriver, see if you can pop that corner, and see if we're getting the glue. I was just waiting for you to melt a hole in it. It is really close, actually. <laughs> uh, like that corner is now ruined. There's no doubt about that. Nah, eh, you know. Well, screw that just thing. Just see if you can get the difficult. I mean, you're gonna need to pop that sucker loose. She'll go, man. She has to go, yep. She'll go. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down. This is kind of tough. <laughs> All right, so uh, we went from the coolest X3 headlights to the most cobbled X3 headlights. X3 really headlights. Look, look at the right. glue in there. You can see the glue. Uh, yeah. This is. Uh, we're know, getting it though. What? Yeah. How much is there really to say about this? It's cobbled. This is normal. You Doug's doing the best they can do. Understand our situation here. So this thing needs functional headlights, basically immediately. So. Boom. Why don't cool. we just run it without a lens cover? Ooh. Do that'd the math. Pretty, that'd be pretty trick. We could take the other one off. It'd be custom looking. For no dollars, almost zero effort. And it wouldn't get cloudy again. You're not wrong. If it did, really easy to clean. I mean, really, what purpose does this thing serve? Just to protect it from rocks. Is that even glass, though? No, that's, that's plastic. Yep. Nope. Look at that thing. Is it dirty behind it as well? It is, dude. Oh, no. Oh, my god. I think this pulls out, though. It's because it's freaking... That's what happens when you hit... Oh, my god. Man, you see you that sand it. pour out? Ugh. We might have to pop these off somehow. Might be some I swear the whole thing there. was, like, coming apart. I think it might have just been flexing. Like, what's going on there? I'll pry on it. Oh, oh jeez Louise. People just felt like you got elbowed in the face. Oh yeah, we're doing God's work here. Look at that. Now what is that for? <laughs> wow, dude. This poor thing. That thing is screwed. This poor thing. Like, I'm not actually even sure it works. Light. Yeah, that probably would have been a good thing to check before we spent a lot of time Because look at the wiring. That's got to be screwed. <laughs> yeah, we should try it and see. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to turn power on. Okay. Mm. So here's the thing. <laughs> Just wasted a significant amount of time. Um, oh, hold on. Oh, Look at that. Oh. Coming to life. What is it doing? It's trying. I think it might still be scooped. Is the other one like way better? The other one's way better. Whoa. <laughs> So you don't have that outside bulb though. Uh, 
Oh my gosh, it's so much brighter. Yeah, like this doesn't work. Just give it a couple taps. Maybe Pretty play with the wiring. Yeah, gosh. Just jiggle it. It's like an... I'm not really wanting to reach in there, but I will anyway. Wow. Oh, cool. Strobe light. You see that? <laughs> it's like a Halloween effect. Well... Ooh, that's neat. What is it doing? <laughs> Another classic bad idea. Um... Uh. Looks like a TV cutting out. <laughs> okay, so then where do we go from here? We're obviously not going to save that light. So, number we can, of options. We can do pods. So, one option is yep. to just do two pods instead of four. It doesn't look as cool. Maybe it still looks cool. We can use the rigids. The wiring can handle that. You lose high low beam capability, which is kind of lame. You know, so we discussed maybe putting a light bar on as the high beam. Again, time constraints. But, at this point, you need more light than that's capable of achieving, so we don't really have any spare X3 headlights sitting around. So we're basically going to have to put the pods in it. <laughs> There's and no, you're just have no to deal option. Without well, people in front of me are going to have to deal because it's going to be set to high beam mode. And I am sorry, but I also don't care. Yeah. It's a safety. This is not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just, we went full circle. We went from good idea to, to what we thought was a good idea, and then, then okay, bad idea, and then now we're back to good idea. Right. This is what happens when you try to take the easy road. We thought we were taking the easy road. Turns out... There's only one thing left to do, Doug. <sighs> what is that? Take that out and smash it on the ground. <laughs> I'm into it. Perhaps with that hammer. <laughs> Because that thing's totally useless. It is garbage. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa! Okay, everything's changed now. She's back. Actually, though, it's still like yellow as hell. Uh, like, look at the, the color still, difference. It's still real bad. High beams still don't work. All right, just screw it. Take it out here with the hammer. I'm done watching. I don't even oh care my anymore. Gosh, man. I just saw one on the X3 original Facebook page for $100, but it's too late now. Hit it. We're sending this. Just thing. right here. All right. What do you? What, what's most exciting? That right there. Uh. Alpine action. Uh yeah. Oh wow. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite that. Oh. That's okay. That's the hard really, part. Really commit to not doing something. Sometimes. Let's see this. That was cool at some point. Now not cool. Hmm. Oh look, it comes from the back. I wonder if there's anything else interesting. Hold on. I bet you here. it was just dirty. Like it looks very cleanable now that it's broken in half. You see that? You could just I mean, get behind it clearly there. Clearly, just wasn't functioning. Maybe we could have just cleaned the connections and it would have been fine. It's too late now. It's broken no. half. This is a real problem. Yeah. Just screw it. Just throw it away. Why do you? What are you doing? It's screwed. Just you just want to see it? I'm just curious what else is in here. I don't actually want to take the screws out, but wow, this sucker's pretty tough actually. Wow, it's really tough. All right, that's enough of that. I'll take care of these. Moving on. I just put it on your phone, sorry. This is where we need to put these. All right, pods. One step forward, two steps back here. If there's ever been evidence of the unplanned nature of these videos, this is it. Okay, so we fit the rid... rid <laughs> pretty tired. We have fit the rigid pod uh, in here and then realized that we had to trim the front end of this thing to make it fit flush. But we also have a gun that'll turn plastic into liquid. <laughs> so why not attempt to liquefy the plastic, press it into place, thus making a custom mold for a rigid pod. <laughs> yeah, One off custom. <laughs> I think we're getting to the point of the plastic turning shiny. Liquefaction. Which is... Engaged. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, yeah. You should do it all like that and make it gloss black. Be real cool. It would match everything. Oh, it's starting to get blobby. This takes me back to the days of rolling four-wheelers over and getting stress marks in the plastic. Just heat gunning them back to life. I think we're to the point where we could press that rigid pod into place. We talked about pressing the china pod to uh, We're just going to go for save it. it. But I do think, hold on though, there might be some merit to putting some silicone on that. <laughs> which is a typical mold release agent. Uh, just shoot silicone all over it. Yep. 
There's not it. It looks like the silicone, though. <laughs> it's, a, it's a similar can. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. White lithium. Man, maybe we're out of silicone spray. Nope, there it is. No, auto dressing. That's silicone. Ooh, yeah, we can use that. This stuff is pretty slick. So just yeah, shoot the front end with it. Okay, so polydimethyl siloxane, aka mold release agent. You ready for That's this? Pretty close. You gonna do it one handed? Absolutely. Okay, three. unless you want a camera. Hell, no, I, I can. Let's see here. All right, all right. Got the camera. We're shiny mode on the plastic. I say three, two, one. Send it. Is it not blobby enough? Not as blobby. Probably it needs to be. Okay, blobby. Nope. So we got to super blobify it. Yep. Wow, it smells great. You smell that? Yeah. The magic dressing is magic. We're just gonna send it. Whoa! Look at it. She's uh, getting warm. When it starts to droop, that's when you know. <laughs> yeah, this is such it's a bad idea. It's gotta be so hot. Touch it. 20 bu do do Oh my god! What, <laughs> what are you doing? Doing it for the blonde, see? Does your finger hurt? Gotta do it fast. No, it's, it's getting blobby though. Alright, wanna send it? Three, yep. two, one, send it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at it fit in there. Oh wow. Terrible. Oh wow. <laughs> custom. Custom, dude. This is custom. We can go harder if you want. This <laughs> is <laughs> looking. It would have looked so much better just cut out. I'm just going to say this is looking fing <laughs> terrible. It would look so much better just trimmed out. Alright, just trim it where it's uh. blobbed. <laughs> okay, yeah, alright. If you've learned anything. Don't use a heat gun. You can heat up Doug from afar, though. Do you feel that? Yeah. I'm sure he's cold. Not really. Dude sweats like a pig. Should melt some of his hair off. Just kidding. I won't do that. Maybe I can melt the big horns back into shape. It's going to smell like a burnout in here pretty soon. Damn! Oh, you smell it? Yep. Damn. It does smell like a burnout. I love burnouts. Oh, wow! I'm cold. It sounds like Doug is farting constantly. Body so, body so. Look at that contour he put on it. Oh, contour life. Is it still hot? No. Dang. So what we did there was just prove what not to do. <laughs> Get the rigid, dude. Oh yeah. Yeah, a little more trimming, clean her up a little bit. It's gonna look tight. Maybe move it out just a little more. But <sighs> Dougie, it's the next day. We've done a lot of stuff. Day 117. Yeah, this has not seen a lot of work. <laughs> right, but we do have this installed. Uh, yeah, man. So we whipped up a little bracket, pretty simple, to hold them in there. And uh, we just wired them up, tried to do it halfway nice with a little sealed connector. And we're going to see if it works, if it instantly blows the fuse, and if they throw anywhere near enough light to uh, replace headlights. Right, so. these are the driving light versions, so. Right. Maybe we can at some point, like, turn the lights off in here. Right. See how she looks. All right, I'm going to kick the key on. Not Send her, bud. Should turn on. Okay, that looks pretty good. Doesn't look terrible. Like, wow. Didn't pop the fuse yet. It's pretty good, dude. Yeah, that's gonna work. Throw another one of those bad boys in there. I mean, it'll work better than uh, your previous lights. Oh, classic GFCI. Well, anyway. We'll fix that. Thanks, Doug. No problem, man. One down, one to go. Looks cool. I've seen worse things on cooler stuff. Just, yeah. So there's that. I mean, it throws light. That's really what we're after at this point. <laughs> Two days to glamour. 
Ooh, it throws heat too. Wow. Yeah. Feel see that. If, see if the little wires are hot. No, they're doing okay. Hell yeah. Shoot. X3 back in desert mode. Yep. And by desert mode, we mean shoot load of ground clearance. 18 inches of ground clearance with 30s. She's up there. So she's going to be, yeah, probably adjusted later by me. Anyway, it's fine. Long story short, lights are in. They look small through the camera. That's what she said. I mean, I'm not going to comment on the way they look. They're unique. Come on, Doug. <laughs> I don't care if you say they suck. The good thing is, they work. Turn them on. All right. Turns out they're pretty bright as well. Hit them, fam. Boom. Boom. Yeah, man. I'm gonna turn the lights off again. Do the classic light off maneuver. This is the real feel. Oh yeah, they're bright. Yeah, they're bright. We had Steve's on earlier, and they definitely seem like they have more uh, power than the stock lights. So. Yeah, and they're like lighting up around Steve's machine a lot too, which means they're gonna have a good throw. Yeah, should be good, man. We'll get them out one of these nights and adjust them up, or maybe we'll just do that when we're uh, out in the dunes, just, you know, tilt them. But right. they look pretty even. They're cool. I like them. I'm not mad about them. No. So we would go outside and test them, but Steve's truck's in the way. My car is in the way. Plus, we just want to go to bed. Yeah, it's late again. Not worth it, but we're getting closer. This thing is to the point where it could pretty much go the way it is. It needs some tires. For Glamis, which we're working on, trying to get in. And uh, other than that, man, shoo, we're getting there. More Glamis prep. Yeah, mud lights going, so we still got to work on that. My Turbo S needs more work. It's not going to get more work. It's just going to go the way it is. Nick mm -hmm. Susan's is in the same spot because we've got two days, and those are <laughs> filled with uh, other activities also related to going to Glamis. Anyways. <laughs> We're getting there. I'm starting to feel like we might actually get out there with machines that will work. That's a good so way to feel. That's a lot better than I felt two days ago. <laughs> so. Right. Well, we're here. Lights are in. We had a lot of other stuff, which you can maybe see over there, that was supposed to go in. But you know what? That didn't happen. And it's not our fault because there's just a lot of crap to figure out and not enough people to work on it and not enough time to work on it. and. Uh, you stack race day and a uh, trip to California to go to Glamis for Camp Razor on top of each other. And you have a lot of things to do. You're going <laughs> to have a bad time. time. But we're getting there. So I don't know if this is the end of this video. It will be. All right. Well, thanks for hanging in there with us. Oh, yeah. Glamis prep. Yep. Appreciate you guys, you know, just uh, watching us do the stuff that's not so fun in preparation for the stuff that's super fun. So... If you enjoy this kind of nonsense, please subscribe. There's a lot more of it coming. If you're already a subscriber, you know, thanks for being here. Make sure your notifications are turned on. We'll uh, try to make the wait for Glamis worth it for you. See you later. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> super awkward. <sighs> Bounce Dune mode. Yes. And what's weird about this, this is full hard compression. E -o, e -o, e -o, e -o. Anyway, lights are in. Thank you, Doug Butterfield. Bridget's in. We've seen them shine. We haven't seen them shine outside yet. So it's actually it's I... roughly one or two days after full installation. Uh, I think it was just last night. Yeah, okay. It's all a blur at this point. But... Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and just try them out, see how they do, you know? I'm excited to see how bright they are. I think they're pretty bright. Today has been a day of days. Ready, Mark? Whoa! Wow, they're bright! They're bright! They're super bright! Oh my God. I can't look at them. I'm gonna shine them over the front yard. Alright. Wow! <laughs> wow, dude! For they two little awesome. pods? Oh my! Yeah. Wow! Dude, are you freaking serious? That is unbelievable. 
Look. What? Those trees are hundreds of feet away. That is out there, man. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely impressive. You know, they're, I they're guess. Like aimed down. They're not even aimed up. There is something to spending the money on freaking quality units. Oh. My God. I'm blown away. Like, totally, completely blown away. That is awesome, man. Like, they're, they're aimed pretty well. They're really not aimed up. You might enjoy that when you're actually driving, you know. Yeah, no, that's a good angle. That might be decent, yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, I just, I did not think they were going to be anywhere near that good. Okay, that's insane. That is totally awesome. insane. I was a little bit leery of this entire plan the whole time, thinking, ah, I'm just wasting our time yeah. here. I can't These imagine things are gonna be... rows. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Have we got both in? No, you're totally right. Thought it was a waste of time. Turned out, not a waste of time. <laughs> that's awesome, man. All right, so that's cool. it for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching us install stuff. Whatever I decide uh, to include in this video, thanks for watching that as well. <laughs> and uh, part two prep coming up. Subscribe, like, share, you know what to do. Okay, bye.